the people I've met and the friends that I've made. I've gotten to meet people from all types of different like backgrounds. I've got to be a part of this amazing community. I actually barely spoke a word of Spanish when I started last September, but after three months in Guatemala, I came out almost proficient. It was such a good opportunity to push myself outside of my comfort zone. Next year, I'm gonna be going to school at the University of Georgia. Now I'm considering maybe I should become a teacher. They enter college with so much more knowledge about themselves, and that's what I hear a lot. They feel more mature, they feel like they have the skill set needed to just live adult life. You know, a lot of these students are living independently on their gap years, they know how to cook, they know how to do their laundry, they know how to budget. So they just feel more prepared. One of the things that we found through data collection and surveys is that once students start college after their gap year, they perform better academically, they graduate sooner, and they're more active on campus. I'm volunteering here for a microfinance women's empowerment organization. Two and a half months of traveling in um, Southeast Asia. And I'm farming and women's empowerment. Staying in rural villages. I'm actually using my Spanish that, I'm, that I've like learned to teach English to like people here as a volunteer. I'm gonna be backpacking Colombia, Peru, and Bolivia. Helping plant rice or planting mangroves. It doesn't really matter what you're doing as long as you're doing something. You can go and work with elephants in Thailand at rehabilitation centers. You can help release penguins in South Africa. Do research with scientists in Peru. Work at a wolf rehabilitation center in Colorado. Study ceramics in Italy. Learn how to build a boat in Maine. Do art education projects in Southeast Asia. Hike the long trail, mountaineer in Patagonia. Learn how to rock climb in Thailand. There is literally something out there for every interest, every budget, and every location. <laughs> Anybody can plan a gap year if they put in the time and effort. I think that working with a counselor makes it easier, more cost effective, and more fun. I vet every program that I recommend to families, so the family doesn't have to go through that process. I'm the one who's talking to the organizations and making sure they meet my standards of quality and ethics and safety. And then when I talk to a student and I hear from them, oh, I want to do this or that, I can match them up with a program that I really trust. Students want someone to talk to and someone to give them advice who is not their parent. So I am mentor, friend, research partner, and all of the above to my students. <laughs> Parents want another adult in the room to give their child the advice that's going to help them provide the best gap year for their kid. One of the things I hear from parents is, you know, is a gap year affordable? You know, it really depends on what you're prepared to invest in a gap year. I like to frame it as an investment because what you get back in return is a more mature, a more confident, and a more prepared young person. And a lot of times, because we find that students perform better at school and graduate sooner, you're actually paying for less college once they get there. Well, I think that, you know, if you're going into a gap year not really knowing how much it costs and not knowing what's out there, you might end up spending more than you would if you invest in a counselor because I know what's out there, I know what, what, what is worth spending money on and where you might be able to save money and also where you can get scholarship money towards gap year programs. You don't need to go far away to have a meaningful gap year experience and I think that really the elements of a good gap year are intention and, and personal goals and then, you know, really trying to challenge yourself in new ways. Does that mean you need to go to Bhutan? No, <laughs> it should mean that you have a set of, of things that you're aiming to accomplish through this period of time. And then my role is to figure out what kinds of activities and uh, resources that student needs to get to where they want to be. So the real crisis that we are facing in higher education right now is a dual crisis. It's a college completion crisis combined with a college debt crisis. And those things are making it really, really hard for young people to emerge from their college on time and without debt. A gap year can be one of the simplest interventions at this moment in time so that students can get a better return on their college investment. It's always really satisfying to hear from students who were initially resistant and then are on the other side of it. I have never spoken with a gap year student who has regretted taking a gap year. Ever, never, ever. I am 
currently trekking in the Himalayas. It's so beautiful. Sitting in my hotel room in Kathmandu. I went to Cusco, Peru. I traveled also like throughout Spain. I was in Chile for two months. This is Oaxaca City, Mexico. Seven weeks in uh, Buenos Aires, Argentina. Three months in Indonesia. I was actually in South Africa. For a lot of students, taking a gap year is an opportunity to heal and develop new tools so that when they enter their next step, they are feeling ready and healthy and more prepared to succeed.